Hello there lads, today we are going to talk about my Rolifex Automat Model 2. You see, the reason why I look so uncertain in saying it is a Model 2 is that the code theory could be either the Model 1 or the Model 2. And so I'm actually quite uncertain about what model it could be. But here she is, and as every Rolifex it is a TLR. If you don't know what is a TLR, it is basically a twin lens reflex. It has two lenses. Um, the upper one is used by the viewfinder to look through and the lower one is used to take the picture basically. As every roll effects it is a 75 mm. You can make it longer by using a different lens. It is more like a sort of, sort of landscape you put on the lens to elongate it basically. And as every Rolleiflex TLR, it has a waist level viewfinder. You can't see it from there, but I'm going to show you some clips that have been recording of this viewfinder. This model has a viewfinder which is a little bit too dark for my taste. I tried it to change the mirror, the internal mirror of the viewfinder, but it didn't help. This video is actually about the first project that I shot with this camera. It is a project that I made in black and white uh, that are entitled Girl Waiting with Flower and it is a project that I shot in the squares of Florence the most important squares basically so you're now going to see the video reportage of this project um, and at the end of it I'm going to tell you my opinion my personal opinion on this camera enjoy So what do I think about this camera? I love it. I do actually love it. But so the model that I bought is actually one of the earliest models out there about Rolleiflex. And I can't say it is the best, obviously. So I bought it on eBay for 200 euros 
and then I spent around 70 euros for maintenance. And I have to be honest, I am happy about this camera, but I'm probably not going to keep it. So the camera is actually in a very good condition and there's no problems with the camera at all. My problem is that when I bought it, I made this thought. It has a fixed lens, so it has to be the perfect lens basically, because I can't switch it. I can't decide to put a 35 millimeters, I can't decide to put a 50, I can't decide to put a 28. The result from my first project is, is quite good to be honest, but it's not what I'm looking for. So I was hoping that the lens was a little bit more smooth. You can see from each picture that the pictures are very grainy and it feels even that there is a roughness, an excessive roughness. So it's not what I'm looking for because I believe that if you want to have that medium format kind of look, you can't have this kind of lens. And this is probably the biggest limit of this camera. So I'm probably going to sell it in a few weeks and switch to another system, which I don't want to spoil you about it. And you're going probably to see it in a different video. So hopefully you like this video. Um, feel free to share it, comment, like it, subscribe, do whatever you want. Um, so I think there's nothing else to say. Thank you so much for watching this video. Feel free to like it, comment and subscribe. And enjoy your life.